Thank you for taking a few moments to watch this brief video which we created to explain what we do and perhaps even more importantly, why we do what we do. 1-800-GOT-MOLD offers the most comprehensive mold inspection service available using the latest tools and techniques, and it is our business to help you protect the things that matter most in your life, your health and your home. To start off, you should know that in most states there are no regulations governing mold inspectors or mold remediators. As a result, there are many companies which perform both inspections and the cleanup, often testing their own work. This is an obvious conflict of interest. 1-800-GOT-MOLD only does mold inspections, and we do it well. If you have a mold problem, we are here to guide you through the entire process to a healthy resolution as painlessly as possible. Despite the widespread lack of government regulation, there is an industry standard called the Institute of Inspection, Cleaning, and Restoration Certification S520 Mold Remediation Standard. Let's just call it the IICRC S520. While following the standard is not required by law at this time, and sadly, few companies adhere to it the way they should, we believe strongly that it holds real value, especially for you, the consumer. Here's how part of it works in relation to a mold inspection. The IICRC S520 categorizes indoor environments into three different conditions, which are Condition 1, Normal Fungal Ecology, Condition 2, Settled Spores, and Condition 3, Actual Mold Growth. Condition 1 may include settled spores, fungal fragments or traces of actual growth, which are reflective of any environment, even in the cleanest buildings. Problems begin when the conditions are right for mold growth. All mold requires is the right temperature, nutrition, oxygen, and, of course, moisture. Since we can actually control moisture, it is very important that we do. According to the EPA, mold can grow within 24 hours if the right conditions exist. The bottom line is that a mold problem is also a moisture problem. That's when you end up with conditions 2 and 3. Let's talk about condition 3 first. Condition 3 is an indoor environment contaminated with actual mold growth and associated spores. It is a mold problem. Condition 2 is an indoor environment contaminated with settled spores which were dispersed from a Condition 3 area. An example of this might be if you had mold growth in your central air conditioning system and the spores were distributed throughout the ducts and other parts of the house by the air currents. So the purpose of a 1-800-GOT-MOLD inspection is to identify Condition 3 areas where actual mold growth may exist and if it does, identify Condition 2 areas which may have been contaminated as a result, and then use that information to diagnose the underlying cause of the moisture problem. Then we develop a remediation and repair plan which will restore the home to a normal condition. So now that you understand the difference between conditions 1, 2, and 3, we'll briefly explain our mold assessment protocol. We have a four-phase approach. Phase A, B, C, and D. Phase A is a non-invasive, non-destructive survey of all easily accessible indoor areas in order to identify potential mold and or moisture problems. Various screening methods may also be employed using special tools, including mold dogs, infrared cameras, and laser particle counters to pinpoint areas of concern. This helps reduce costs by eliminating wasteful testing and limiting the remediation to the smallest possible area. Phase B involves the collection of air and or surface samples, which are analyzed by an accredited third-party microbiology laboratory. Invasive testing is commonly performed to investigate areas where our mold dogs are alerted or to investigate other areas where hidden mold is suspected. The purpose of Phase B is to begin investigating areas of concern generated during Phase A, identify and define Condition 1, 2, and 3 areas for remediation planning, then gather information useful in diagnosing the underlying moisture problem. 
Until any moisture problems have been corrected, mold remediation should not take place. Otherwise, the mold growth will surely return. Since the purpose of mold remediation is to restore a property to a normal condition, all moisture problems must be corrected and all excess fungal matter must be removed. It's that simple. Upon your request, we design the solution, help you find qualified contractors to perform the repairs and cleanup, and provide post-remediation verification services. Again, we do not ever perform repairs or mold remediation. Phase C remediation planning is available upon request and is usually free of charge. The purpose of Phase D is to verify that the repairs and cleanup have been completed. Industry standard inspection and testing methods are used to determine whether the work areas have been restored to a normal condition. Phase D should always precede the release of the final payment due to the contractor. Our Phase D services are intended to provide that additional peace of mind that is so critical at the end of a mold cleanup effort. Phase D post-remediation verification is available at an additional cost. Your inspector will now share with you a package of literature which you may find useful after the inspection. We thank you for choosing 1-800-GOT-MOLD as your trusted mold inspection and remediation resource. Feel free to give us feedback. We'd love to hear from you.